for some reason, people think that it is a strange thing to forsake everyone else and everything else to follow Jesus. They think that they can follow Jesus but have other ways of salvation also in their life. They think they can follow Jesus and not be faithful. They think they can follow Jesus with other partners. When a bride and groom, though, when they say their wedding vows, they promise to forsake all other partners for their relationship with each other. And for these vows to be valid, they have to keep these vows either until they die or their spouse dies. It is the exact same way when we choose to follow Jesus. We must keep our vows with the Lord. If we break our vows, if we say we are going to follow Jesus with all our heart, soul, and might, but then we turn our back, then what happens is we backslide, and there is no salvation for a backslidden Christian who never comes back to Jesus. Now, there is hope for the backslidden Christian if they repent and turn back, but it is very difficult for a backslidden Christian to repent. It is very difficult for someone stuck in the world to turn from their ways because they know what it is like to turn their back and act like they divorced their relationship with their Creator. Once a marriage relationship goes unfaithful, it is very difficult for that relationship to ever be restored to full trust ever again. Most marriage relationships, when they become unfaithful, they end in divorce. And it is horrible for both the husband and the wife and the children and the entire family. It is extremely difficult to enter back into a faithful relationship with your Creator if you are a backslidden Christian, if you have fallen from grace because you entered into sin. But there is a way. The Lord Jesus makes a way with His blood and His mercy. If you truly choose to fight your way back into the kingdom of heaven and pursue righteousness, to deny everything else, everyone else for the sake of following Jesus with all your heart, to leave all addictions behind, to choose to walk the narrow path with all your heart, all your soul, and all your might. There is a way. The Lord Jesus makes the way out from bondage and slavery and sin, but it will be a very difficult journey. Are you willing to make the journey with Jesus, to be dedicated to Him and forsake everything else to follow Him? Have you made up your mind to be in a relationship with Jesus? Or have you not made up your mind and will you be a backslidden Christian for the rest of your life? Because there is no hope for the backslidden Christian who chooses not to get right with the Lord Jesus. May the grace of Jesus be with you.